Scooch on in. Hello, everybody. We're sorry we're a couple of minutes late or a few minutes late to, uh, this evening. Had a few technical difficulties. I have a special partner today. We're going to have more on that with Summer. But first, we're going to be bringing you the top stories today. This is News 5 Now, streaming live to your neighborhood and around the world. Our top stories today, some of those we'll be touching on. The latest on Hurricane Helene as it moves closer to the Florida coast. A man set to be executed in Alabama this the, for the second time after he survived the first execution attempt. And we're going to have the latest on the demolition of the Mobile Civic Center. I'm Roseanne Haven, alongside our digital reporter, Summer Poole. Hello, I'm so excited to be here. Um, so yeah, like Roseanne said, we have a little technical difficulty there, but we're glad we're up now. Um, we're going to go through our big stories, our poll of the day, and our question of the day, and see what you guys thought. And then me and Roseanne will talk about our answers for both of those. So well, we'll see. I yeah. don't know. It depends on how tough. That's are. true. Okay, time now for us to count down the big stories we are following for you right now. Let's go ahead and start with number five. All eyes, of course, on the Florida Gulf Coast tonight as Hurricane Helene comes ashore. Even though our stretch of the Gulf Coast here will be spared from the direct effects, we are going to feel impacts this evening. Hurricane Helene set to bring extreme damage tonight. Through Friday, landfall expected along Florida's Big Bend as a major hurricane. We are talking catastrophic storm surge up to 18 to 20 feet possible. Um, and it will spread its destructive winds inland through Georgia and South Carolina. We are talking an historic event with Hurricane Helene. A major flood event expected to unfold inland into the Carolinas talking up to 20 inches of rain possible in the mountains. All right, number four, an Alabama death row inmate is scheduled to be executed in Atmore tonight. Alan Eugene Miller is scheduled to be put to death at Holman, Holman Correctional Facility with the execution window beginning at 6 o'clock. This will be a nitrogen gas execution. Miller will be the second inmate put to death in the United States using this method, the second in Alabama. He's been on death row since 1999 after he was convicted of murdering three co-workers in Shelby County. If this, this execution tonight goes on as planned, it will mark the first time in more than 20 years since July 2003 that five were held within seven days in the U.S. Okay, now we're going to switch gears in a big way. We're going to talk about one of my favorite topics. Ooh, that looks good to me. Did you see those crab legs? Uh-huh. Oh, my. If you love seafood, this is your weekend, baby. The Destin Seafood Festival begins tomorrow in the Harbor Walk Village area. Now, the opening may be slightly delayed because of the weather, because of Helene, but hey, Saturday and Sunday is going to go on as planned. This annual event will uh, officially kick off as it always does the upcoming Destin Fishing Rodeo. There will be five stages with musical acts as well as craft vendors and of course seafood galore <laughs> and to get in it won't cost you a thing. All right Roseanne now I think we all need some good news, especially with Hurricane oh, Helene. I love this. And I love this story. Oh. So an injured sea turtle in Baldwin County is back in the Gulf tonight. The sea turtle was accidentally caught by a fisherman just a few miles from here at the Gulf State Park Pier. But thanks to a quick response by the fisherman, they were able to get the young loggerhead out of the water and safely transported to the Gulf area in Fort Walton for care. After the doctor cleared her for good health, they were able to release her Tuesday evening at the Cotton Bayou Beach Access, and Seaweed the Sea Turtle <laughs> is now back home <laughs> swimming in the Gulf. I love turtles, and I, I love too. this, and I even love her name, Seaweed. Oh, yeah, for That's sure. So cute. So cute. Number one, we're an another step closer to the uh, Mobile Civic Center. Mobile Civic Center, which is 60 years old. Oh, man, look at it coming down. The exterior, exterior demolition now underway, paving the way for a new facility. A lot of excitement over that, and, and some people are sad about it, too. One of the first parts to go, the thoroughfare connecting the theater and the arena. Today, crew started 
work to tear down the theater. Oh, I have fond memories of watching things in that theater. The arena will be demolished next. These steps come weeks after work, including asbestos remediation began inside the building. The city of Mobile says the project is going on as it should in a timely manner. Construction of the new $300 million Civic Center is expected to start in February. Are you happy to see it go or sad? I'm kind of sad. I I was a dancer my whole life, and I've danced in that theater. So it's kind of sad, but I'm also kind of excited to see where Mobile goes with this. Yeah, I get that. Very cool. And that is a look at our big stories this hour. Now we are going to move on to the question of the day. You ready for the question of the day? I sure am. Here we go. The question. Boom, boom, boom. What is your least favorite part of the fall season? All right, Roseanne, I got to hear what your least favorite part is. Are you going to scroll through Yeah, I'll scroll through. Okay, my least favorite part. Well, I don't like when it's really, really cold. Oh, yeah. But fall isn't typically too rough with that right yeah I agree it's either I feel like fall is either like 90 degrees like we're in now or like 40 degrees okay I don't like a string of gloomy days I like some gloomy days yeah but I love my sunshine yeah I completely get that yeah see my I think my answer is I don't like the like flu and the cold it's like that time of year where the the you know atmosphere is changing you're getting all your allergies I don't like hearing my mom complain about her allergies oh mama sorry mom I know you're watching I love you (laughs) you better be loving your mama let's see what some other people have to say okay um Nona McBride Fultz says only that it's the prelude to winter other than other than that it's pretty perfect Mm -hmm. okay Someone else says snowbirds making their way down to the beach. Oh, we got to love our snowbirds. I know. They're so sweet. Yeah, that's what we do. We welcome people. Someone says they don't like pumpkin spice. I've never tried pumpkin spice. Well, (laughs) I like pumpkin spice, the flavor, but what about the smell of it? Pumpkin spice candles are my favorite. Yeah, I like cinnamon, like the Uh, cinnamon candles you get. My husband loves pumpkin spice candles. Ooh. His co-workers make fun of him for that. My grandma makes a mean <laughs> pumpkin bread. I'll Ooh, tell you that. Now I could dig on that. It's so good. Okay. Someone else, uh, Karen and uh, Carrie, Karen J. Cherry Vincent says, yep, knowing that winter is coming mm-hmm. next. I get that. Oh, Peggy taking leaves from all the trees surrounding my yard. Not my trees. <laughs> you know what? I, uh, I We've just let the tree, the 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 leaves, the leaves fall. fall. They're yeah. pretty in their own right, I, I think. I love it when the, the leaves fall and, like, the sun sets in the fall. They're just, like, so pretty. Yeah. All the fall festivals. You it's just a great time. It is a great time. Yeah. I love it. I love to decorate for the fall, too. It's like I love oh. to decorate. Okay. Me and Cherish I still haven't that done that yet. Have you f- decorated for the fall yet? You have? I have pink Halloween decorations. Of course you would. <laughs> My nickname for her is Pinky because she loves everything everything pink i sure do or barbie barbie you're our barbie I love girl barbie. you're so cute <laughs> okay now we're gonna get serious our yes. facebook poll we wanted to know should juveniles charged as adults be identified to the public all right here's how you voted 94 percent of of voters said yes while six percent said no and that's kind of shocking roseanne i really thought it would be more of like a f- closer to 50 50 on that really one. why yeah I just, I don't know. I'm, since I'm in digital, I'm um, a lot of the time on our WKRG page, and I just see a lot of people on both sides, you know? Yeah. So I just figured the vote would be a little more 50-50, but, I'm a little mixed about it. Yeah, me too. I am, especially, you know, being a mother and having two girls. Right. Yeah. No, I completely get it. I'm mixed too, so. All right. Well, that's the little bit of opinion you're going to get back. Yeah. You're going to get from me. Now, help me here. I got lost on these these buttons. Okay. Now. Facebook push. Yes. There we go. We're we're going to our Facebook poll. We're going to ask you guys to vote on our poll and question for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So our question of the day for tomorrow is kind of got to do with the execution today. Yeah, this is the real serious one. Yes. So Alabama is preparing to carry out the nation's second nitrogen gas execution. Is this procedure humane? So we want to know your thoughts on that. That is our question of the day. And Roseanne, do you want to go with our poll of the day? Yeah, let's talk about that. We want to know, as you've heard, Hoda Kotb 
Is it Cotby or Coatby? I think it's Cotby. That's I, 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 say I, it. I when I see, and I've heard it many times, but my brain goes, yeah. uh, whenever I see it. Yeah. She is leaving the Today Show after five years. Will you miss her? She is such a lovely, pleasant lady. I've never yes. met her, but just to watch her, you know, we can kind of tell. Yeah, for sure. And you just think, oh, someone you just you could be best friends with. Yeah. You'd love to have her as a neighbor. Oh, but yeah, for sure. We are going to share the results of uh, the poll and question of the day tomorrow. So make sure you join us for that. In the meantime, we want you to turn on your TV. Hopefully it's already on it on uh, Channel 5 because WKRG News 5 starts in just a few minutes. It sure does. And uh, Roseanne are Haven will be the on shot? there. Are you in the shot? Come on. Hey, Come hey. a little bit closer. Okay. There we go. Yeah, well, I'll be there with Peter Albrecht and uh, sports and our chief meteorologist, Ed Bloodsworth. I tell you what, our first alert storm team, they are freaking awesome. Yeah. They I'm, are I, phenomenal. I'm jealous of Grant for getting to go with the Hurricane Hunters. He, and that, that is a long trip. Yeah. Like, what? what he yeah. got back at, like, midnight last night? It, it, he was late, and he's back yeah. at it today doing live shots. Yeah. But our guys are so committed and so fabulous. They are. But we are covering Hurricane Helene like we do all events, like a blanket. So you'll want to make sure that you join us tonight for WKRG News 5 at 6. And, uh, I think that's about it for us now. I think so. You are so much fun. Roseanne, you're I my love favorite. This. Don't tell anybody else. Oh, I'll say it again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we thank you so much for being with us, and uh, we look forward to chatting with you more. Have a great evening, everybody. Bye, guys.